What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Today I'm coming to you live from the zone with another video. Today I want to share with you guys how to actually integrate the new MPC 2.0 and MPC Live or MPC X with your Studio One 3.5 and above. Alright, so I've already installed the MPC Live and I already have it set up, but I'm going to quickly show you guys how to go about it. You guys will want to go to your preference. The smart keys for the preference on a Mac is Command, Comma or you can go to studio one and preference it. now on a on a pc that would be the smart key would be control comma comma sign and you want to go to external devices and you want to go to add and you would normally you would go to Akai thinking that the NPC live would be there but I had to add it so when I added it it populates in this now but it won't normally be there for you so you'd have to add it and you go about doing that by adding a new instrument. First you would add a new instrument. You would type in Akai. Uh, you'd name the instrument MPC Live. Then you would click all for all the MIDI channels then you would go to receive from MPC public MPC live public okay actually you would name it MPC live public and device name and then it, it'll come up as MPC live public all right I'm going to cancel that because I already have one. Then you'd go back and go to new keyboard and you pretty much do the same thing. And when you you'd name it and then you'd come back here and go to MPC Live Public and send to MPC Live Public. All right and then you're all set up ready to go all right so once you have that set up you would come over here to where it says edit mapping you would click that and this pop-up menu will show you go to control and you'll go to MPC live public now I already have these set up okay. so you would click MIDI learn and before you before you do that you want to go to you want to click this button right here go to file go down to edit open up the preferences go down to hardware All right. you want to go to hardware click hardware pause on hardware and where it says record overdub 
you actually want to have it set to whole star. Go to NPC Live. You click the transport buttons. I see it on on your NPC Live or NPC X. You hover over the buttons. You click button. You select button. Press release on all. Then you double click again or right click assign command now the first one is the record so you type in record where it says uh, transport record you select that so now you're able to Press record from the NPC and it goes into record in record mode. Second one is overdub, but there's they removed the um the record overdub from the um the command list. Record overdub. See there's no overdub. Type in overdub. There, there's no overdub. They removed the overdub from 3.5. So we'll skip that one. We'll go to the next one, which is stop. Stop and you'll click stop. Now. next one is play so you'll assign command you'll type in play you could either select play from loop start or set play start marker no you want to click select play from loop start Next one is the play start on the NPC live and you want to select enable enable play start marker you can use either play start marker which it just as you can see over here it turns green you make that big so y'all can see it pause it turns green so this is the loop start Or you can unassign it, assign command, play, or you could select set play start marker. And it's pretty much the same, but it actually stays, it sets it if you select that one. So I like the other one where you're able to just remove it. You can set it and remove it. At, so play. So you're able to set it wherever you want. All right. So that's pretty much how you uh, integrate and set up your MPC Live or MPC X with the MPC 2.0 software. The other thing you want to do is. Once you have it, the transport set up, you want to go back into the MPC Live Studio, the MPC Live software. We could close this screen, and you want to go back over here to file to this button right here in the MPC 2.0 software plugin menu. Go down to Edit, go to Preference, go back to Hardware and go back to and choose to MPC plugin. 
And the reason why you want to do that is because everything is actually still set, but the overdub but button is now able to be used inside the software, the plugin. All right, but the record enable is the still the same. Record, press record. You're actually gonna record inside the uh, inside MPC from the MPC itself. You'll record whatever you're gonna record. You'll record it inside the software, the 2.0 software, instead of recording it inside the studio one 3.5 the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure anytime you select record you want to use the the monitor button rather than having record enable inside of the studio one gy because of this reason right here is that anytime you press record Anytime you press record, I have a fader port, a Persona's fader port, so I'm able to just press the record enable button. And you see here that this green, that means that anything that I record inside the MPC software, it'll record inside the, um, it'll record MIDI notes inside of Studio One. And sometimes that could be beneficial and sometimes it can throw off the whole thing. So I tend to not even have that record enabled because I'm recording everything inside of studio on um, the MPC software. And then I will simply uh, drag and dump the... Um, the audio files into Studio One. And I would do so by doing this right here. I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna quickly make a quick little pattern so y'all can see what it is.
that y'all, y'all got something to work with, you're not the best to do some, you know, some hookups and all the way with them. not even using that much RAM. That's pretty much it, man. That's how you integrate the uh, uh, PC 2.0 software and you plug in the Studio One Point using either your MPC Live or your MPC Whichever one you have. I already got a show the Renaissance, how to use uh use the renaissance so if you have the renaissance or you have the mpc studio you can still utilize it within studio one 3.5 and that's pretty much it y'all so y'all know what i say all the time ancient kemet wasn't built in a day and unfortunately i've come to my time so i want to thank y'all so much if this is your first time on the channel viewing my content Feel free to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification button and look out for more videos like these and even better ones. Do check out Sample School Sundays. That is a series that I do on the channel here on the platform uh, every Sunday. There's a new uh, episode that should be either on the time you're seeing this video or if this video gets uploaded before either way check the um sample school sundays uh playlist tons of videos in there utilizing the mpc software uh serato sample vst you know different ways on how to sample and flip and chop all right, so again, I am BK, bkbangers.com. Thank you again so much. Enjoy your day. And do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, and light. Till next time. Hey.